Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the Correct Views. Sam Deganji, your humble host. Um, remember when I reported that the people falling from the plane was hopefully going to be the most depressing story that we covered this year? Uh, we do have some details on it. And before we get into it, I want to mention something that I had seen that you may not get on the mainstream media, but that I had seen it with my own two eyes. I, I watched the video. I found it on a site that I'm not going to promote because they have a lot of weird pseudo-porn crap on here too. But they have the full video where the people fall from the plane. And uh, I don't know if it was in the same cluster as the gentleman that we're about to cover, but I did want to mention it. I had the video, and I was debating on whether to show it because there was blood around this individual. But it wasn't horrific, other than when your brain understood what it is that you were seeing. But the actual image itself, due to the amount of clothing he had on, made it something that I could have shared. I had uh, shut the video down, and then when I went back to the page that it was on, it, it wasn't on the site, I should say the site, the page wasn't on there anymore. So what the image was, was one of the people, maybe they had fallen earlier, or God, I have no idea how they could have fallen that far onto cement or concrete, the runway, but he was alive. Um, this could be a bit graphic in detail, I'm going to be gentle. It looked as though they were using his turban to tie his skull together until he could get help. He was moving. And it's a wake-up call to those who think they want to talk so badly about the country. People are willing to go through that to get away from other countries. People need to let that sink in a little bit. But I just wanted to report that one of them did live at least long enough for someone to shoot the video. Uh, the gentleman that shot it is running up the runway, the video that I saw. And he films three different people. The first two were dead. And I think that's one of the ones that we're about to hear about here. But I did want to give you that update because I looked it up. I watched the video. It's not still up. That's probably for the better. I really waffle on whether or not to show that. And I don't normally do that, but it, it was really that gray area. So maybe it's better that it's not up. But I did want to report on it, so you knew. Beyond that, here is Fox News. U.S. Marine who saved baby at Cabal Airport identified. Marine with the 24th Marine Ex Expeditionary Unit seen in the video. This hits a, a deep spot for me because I've always wanted to have kids. I, I hear kids laugh and they'll do that like, eh, it sounds like an idiot if I do it, but you just, you know what I mean, that little kid laugh where they just can't stop laughing. It's the best sound in the world. And I think, wow, I would, I would have loved to have known what that felt like. So things with kids sort of have a soft spot with me because I never got to have kids. And I, like I said, I, genuinely, genuinely wanted to. So this story, I think, struck a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. I'm pretty sure that the uh, the Marine who did this either has kids or certainly wants to have kids. Uh, a lot of people were talking about the video and the images. Well, I saw an update for it, and I'm going to bring it to you. U.S. officials confirmed on Friday that a baby seen in a viral video being handed to American service members over the top of a barbed wire fence at Cabal's airport is now safe inside the perimeter, and it is in part due to the help of a Marine. I can confirm that the uniformed service member depicted in the video is a Marine with the 24th Marine Expeditionary Unit. Marine Corps spokesman Major Jem Stenger said in a statement, The baby seen in the video was taken to a medical treatment facility on site and cared for by medical professionals. He said that the child was treated and reunited with his father and both were safe at the airport. Well, the airport hasn't looked all that safe, but have a look. Let me get the mute off. <laughs> God only knows 
what happened to the baby. Uh, this is a true example of the professionalism of the Marines on site who are making quick decisions in a dynamic situation in support of evacuation operations, as uh, Stenger said. It also shows what kind of callous people the Taliban are. If something like this is going on, you can't at least let the people leave orderly. It's not even like the people are rebelling in most instances. I wish they were. But not even rebelling and saying that they won't leave. And still this is being allowed to happen by these barbarous bastards. Scenes of chaos and uncertainty in Kabul have shocked the world since the Taliban reclaimed the city on Sunday and Afghan's exiled president, Ashraf Ghani, fled the country. He did not leave, supposedly, he did not leave with bags of money. Whether or not you can believe that, I don't know. It's just what's being reported. And then he said he did it to prevent a slaughter of millions of his own people. Again, did he flee? Was he a coward? He said he's not afraid of an honorable death, but he didn't want to get other people slaughtered. You know, I don't know enough about the man to pass judgment. I'm not going to say just because he's an Islamic leader of a country that fell that he's crooked. I, I don't know, but that's his side of the argument anyhow. In a news briefing Friday, President Biden defended his abrupt withdrawal. Of course he did, yeah. So anyway, that is the update on the child. The rest of this article you pretty much know. But this is, they don't even say how the, the child got injured or what it is that led to it happening to him. It never says. The only thing we know is that like, somebody was being held over barbed wire so that he didn't get cut apart while he reached over to grab this child who was injured in God only knows what way. For what reason, how, on purpose, accident, we may never know. We may never know. But this is going on over there. Because we did not plan an orderly, orderly way to leave the country. As I've said many times, this wasn't what Donald Trump won. Donald Trump laid out a number of rules that they did not dare to break. And that clearly there were no red lines with Biden. I don't even still don't know if there's a red line. That's the update, friends. But anyway, at least we know that the child is safe. I don't always want to bring grim, grim news so when you see correct views come up, you're like, oh my God. No, no, the child is fine. Hey, make sure you get a hold of me, the correct views at hotmail.com. Leave comments. I'll try to get to them as I see them. Um, good night, friends. God bless.